Hey everyone, it's Ruth from Articulation here with another tip from the treehouse. And this time it's a survival tip on how we're going to get through the next phase of our existence on virtual webinars and calls. So I thought I'd bring to you today three things that I'm seeing on tons of virtual calls that I've been on and that don't really get addressed in any of the like PDFs that are flying around out there. So I thought I'd demonstrate them for you today here. The first one is let's get you looking at the camera, not like this so that we're just seeing the tops of your heads because you haven't figured out that your camera needs to be eye level with you, just like this. Now in this picture I'm showing you as to what it might look like if I'm looking at my laptop with a nice big slouch, but if I prop it up with books, I've got a better angle. Now I'm not speaking to my computer right now, I'm speaking to my phone video, so it's a little different. But nonetheless, I'm telling you something about my posture and how I'm sitting and my willingness to be present with you and how I'm framing myself in the camera. So number one, frame you up, just get yourself looking straight on eye level with the camera. The second is you can tell that I am front lit. You may not be able to tell until I turn off this light. I would prefer you to be front lit than back lit. The windows behind me are often blaring with sun today, particularly, which was nice. But you can tell when I turn on the light, I've got a better uh, reflection on my face, not necessarily a shadow. I can change that to be brighter or to be less bright. These are just a typical halo light. They're a good investment, especially if you want to make a good impression on a webinar or virtual call. And lastly, be careful of the emotions when you're on these videos because, gosh, boy, does this tell me something without even words. So head tilts, hand gestures, eye movements, and especially the posture and slouch, they say words for us before we actually speak. So between where you're looking, how you're lit, and how you're holding your emotions, those hopefully are three tips that'll help you get through what might be a long haul of virtual life. I'm also sending my best wishes to everybody to stay at home, let's flatten the curve, and get through this together. Let us know how we can help, as always. Thanks for listening. We'll be back soon with more tips.